Hi everyone, welcome back to the my channel. My name is Anil, and in this Laravel 7 video tutorial, we will learn about the middleware. So basically, we will make the two video on the middleware. This is the part one, and the part one we will learn some basic examples, and in the part two we will see some advanced level of the middleware. So these are the points that we are going to cover in this video. So we will see what is the middleware, types of middleware, how we can apply, how we can make and write some code also. So now the first question is what is the middleware? So guys. Uh, middleware basically a piece of code that can basically filter out the HTTP request. What is the meaning of the filter out request? For example, you just want to check that uh, a user is logged in or not in your website, right? For that, you can basically check the sessions. Uh, if the session is present, that means user is logged in. Otherwise, this is not logged in, right? But let's say you have a hundred of pages in your website, and if you are going to check the session and the authentication in the every page then it will not going to make a sense and it will make up a, a code complexity also and it will time consuming also so that we will just write uh, some middleware and this middleware can be applied the whole routes on of your pages or can be uh, only 50 routes also and can be some specific routes also all right so uh, there's three kind of the middleware in the Laravel. One is the global that can be applied on a globally on your website. Second one is the group that can be just applied on a specific group like 50 file uh, out of the 100 or 20 file out of the 100. And last one is the route based. These middleware can be applied on a specific route. Let's say you just want to make apply the routes on a three or four any specific that can be possible also. Right now let's see that how we can make the routes. Sorry, middleware. So for that, just write a command line PHP artisan make and make middleware. But and then middleware name. So let's say my middleware name is check age and just hit the enter. Now you can see that middleware is successfully created. Now, how you can find it where it, it is actually created for that? Let's go on the app directory HTTP middleware and let's refresh it now you will find the check as is is here for now i am just going to make a echo here like say check is middleware right now how can i access it and how can i apply it on the global routes right so basically I, as i told you that in this specific video we will learn only a global routes uh, the single route and the group route we will learn in the next video so now how we can access it for that uh, you just have to register this middleware inside the kernel so let's open the kernel.php file and the global middleware are registered on the top level uh, middleware array so just right here and uh, your middleware as you know that your our middleware name is uh, check is so Let's copy the URL and make it new one here. So I am just going to put here check age, right? Now, uh, if I am just going to be refresh this page, then now you can see that this middleware is applied here, right? And if I just make it commented out, then this will be not fine here, all right? So middleware is basically applied. That now let's see that how we can just yeah, make some authentication based on the age right so before it I am just going to make some other component also like uh, let's make a view which is unauthorized view just right here unauthorized dot blade dot php right and just write here some code you don't have access of this page perfect so let's make a route for it route and if i'm just going to write here this and uh, so i can just make the same name as its file name so just write here route name unauthorized Put the view name also perfect. 
After that, let's try to access it. Is it working or not? Mm -hmm. Let me check. I think there is some misspelling is there. So yeah, misspell is here. So now you can see that. Oh, that's my bad. Actually, I have to use your view. Okay, so now you can see that now your middleware is also applied here because this is obviously the global and you can see that you don't have the access of this space. So now if I just want to check here, let's say my age is more than 20, then it, uh, this page should be loaded. Otherwise, if I just age is less than 20, then unauthorized page should be there right so let now let's see that how we can make it so in the check is mm, middleware let's just put a condition if dollar request age this is present and dollar request age is less than 20 then let's simply redirect it for that just write here return redirect and your url for redirect that one all right so now let's try to access this page this is working fine and if i am just going to access on that now you can see that you are just jumping on the unauthorized so let's try once again um age is uh, let's say 30 now you can see that this space is accessible but if i'm just going to put in 19 then you can see that this is redirecting on the unauthorized so this is all about the basics of uh, middleware in the laravel and in the next upcoming video we will see that how we can use the uh, grouped middleware and the uh, grouped uh, and the uh, routed middleware also so thanks for watching this video if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video. Bye-bye. Take care.